What is up guys, Mr. Telescope here, back with another video. Uh, this time I'm going to be playing a fun deck that I brewed up uh, for Historic. Uh, before we get into the video too much, I'd like to say the typical YouTuber stuff. If I, you could uh, like, comment, subscribe. It's all free, helps me out a lot. If you're enjoying the content here, you know, it really helps me out. Uh, not going to go into it too much, uh, but uh, if I had to say one thing, I saw analytically 91% of you guys aren't subscribed? Uh, why? Uh, anyways, <laughs> let's get into the video. Uh, all that cheesy stuff's out of the way. This is a five-color dragon deck. Um, I don't know how to post a list in the description. If you guys could help me out with that, I'm going to look into that, see what I can do. If it's there, it's, it's there. I'm going to try to get it there. This is probably my favorite brew I've ever made uh, myself. Uh, this is original. Me and my friend Tim, uh, we sat down in, in Discord and kind of brewed this deck up. Uh, shout out to him for help sitting there while I just made a five-color Thoughtseize deck. I mean, dragon deck. Five-color dragon deck. Uh, it plays three Magda, three Orbs of Dragonkind, a new card from uh, Adventure, the new D&D set. Really good card. One Atarka's Command, because sometimes you just run into angels in the main board. Uh and you just need to stop them from getting life. Uh, two Lightning Helix, uh, two Treasure Maps, Great Treasure Creator, uh, two Gadric, the Crown of uh, Scourge, Great Body, uh, Great Treasure Creator, uh, combos with Zorn, so at the beginning of your end step, you create a treasure. If, since if nothing died, you wouldn't create a treasure, but if Zorn's on the battlefield, you would anyways. Uh, Prismari Command, a little bit of uh, control, Treasure Creator, can draw you some cards sometimes in a pinch. Uh, Bedevil, Great Removal, Definite Clarion for the board wipes. Uh, Another card from the D&D set. Uh, this is a great card for control matchups. Anytime a creature dies, you can just flash it back. Boom, boom, boom. You're getting... Uh, this just turns into a great recursion card. Uh, we have Gazelith Prismari, a uh, little treasure creator. Old dragon makes our spells a little bit easier to cast when we have a bunch of treasure on the battlefield. Bind of the Old Gods for hate against permanence that we just can't deal with. Nikki B, the Ravi G. Uh, we're... If you're playing dragons, you got to play fucking Nikki B, right? <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Imrith, another card from the D&D set, another dragon. I think the D&D set had a few good dragons in it. Uh, this is a great card, pretty much like Dragonlord Ojitai. I never played when that was around, but a lot of people compared it to it, and then I saw the card, and I'm like, yeah. Uh, great body, great flyer, uh, protection, and it's just good. Goldspan Dragon, another great card. This is from Kaldheim, though. Uh, Crates Treasures. Just good card. Uh, adult Dragon. Need it in the uh, need it against aggressive matchups. Can hit it. Put it back. Uh, first color, five color dragon we're playing. We are playing Niv Mizzet Reborn. Great card. Uh, can grab us some of our two color spells and put it into our hand. Uh, then we're playing the Inferno Dragon. Can grab it with Magda. End out a game. Bring back a few of our dragons with this bad boy. And then we have uh, this uh, Vellum. What Lorehold Dragon. Uh, cool card. Let's just get a bunch of our instants and sorceries and just play them on their turns because not, none of our instants are above four mana. Nope, none of them are above three. Uh, same with our sorceries. None of them are above three, so anything we hit with him, we could just play. And then Tiamat just can restock our hand, grab a bunch of the big dragons, and just go hard. So uh, let's jump into a few games. Uh, I'm a little disheartened. The last video I recorded, the audio was bad, so hopefully... Uh, this audio isn't bad. We're going to take us into traditional historic. I am platinum rank two. I think I'm only going to do two games. I can't be up too late. I did just get off work uh, and I got to get this video done. I, I'm recording this late and I really fucking hate it. So we will have to see. But yeah, I can't believe the audio was all fucked up. I hope this audio is fine. Uh, we're going to play first. Um, decent hand. No white, actually, but it's fine, I think. We'll just ship it. We'll draw white, don't worry. Uh, opponent's taking their time to think. Uh, the reason this deck is called Five Color Thoughtseize is because I was playing against an ultimatum deck, and I had... I got Volumclus out. He only had one card in hand. It was Ultimatum. Um, and... Oh, there's the white. Uh, I already burned through two of my Thought Seizes. And I managed to hit 
Oof. All right, so rest in peace is coming in off the sideboard here. We're going to... Yeah, we're going to get him down. So if I get a treasure creator, I'm going to want him to be around. I hate the sound of Zorn. I imagine Dorns to be a little bit more not squealy rats. But apparently it's they're just squealy rats. So I've never actually played against Is It Phoenix yet, so I'm kind of nervous. I have Rest in Peace in the sideboard, but... Uh, Pillar of Flame. Alright, cool. Hit our target. It's whatever. We'll probably just play this tapped, and we're just going to kill that, gain life. All that stuff he did was for naught. Um, we'll play her. If she sticks around, it's fine, because uh, Zorn will do some good, eat, some good stuff next turn. So, what was his removal spell? It was Pillar of Flame. Cheap. I might get Pillar of Flame here, which I guess that's fine. Yeah, there it is. Uh, a land card would be good. It comes in tapped, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, we can play niv Mizzet next turn, or we could play Desert Doom. I think we'll play Desert Doom, because it's just going to draw us cards more consistently. Uh, and it can't be hit by any of his removal. So, I think that's just going to be the play. Uh, hopefully we get land, Desert Doom. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Either way, we'll only be drawing one card. Do you think that's good enough? Uh, I think I will play actually Nivy Me because... It can get bigger, because he has to cast two spells and it gets prowess, so he has to cast three spells. So we're just going to search Bedevil, that's fine, it's the only card we got. Uh, we'll swing in, because we'll take that trade all day. I need to start putting pressure on this deck, because if we don't, we're going to just die. So, yep, that's fine. Because he hasn't been to any Phoenixes yet. Uh, he has one looting and it costs three mana. So he's got another looting in hand. Um... Also, I like just the soundtrack for this set. It's pretty sick. But we're in a really good spot. Uh, they're at three. They have nothing really here. We can start getting in the beats for six. Uh, rolling Vortex. Hmm. What an interesting card. I feel like this card would put... Um, Fires of Invention is the card I'm thinking of. It's a four mana enchantment that lets you play cards to, for free with your, uh, depending on how many lands you have. I think it's called Fires of Invention. I'm like 60% sure. But this that would shut this down hardcore because every time you do that, you'd be only be able to play four spells and then you're dead, which is really fucking good. This is... This is a must-have if you are, if Fires of Invention would ever come back. I don't know what's going on with our opponent. I don't know if he's just roping us because he's sad. I'm sad. I'm just tired. Works been tough. But. I like how this has the old border for it. Uh, I think that's pretty cute. I don't think any of the other ones have none of these cards. Oh, Darkest Command has the old card style. Sure, let's go. We will swing in. 
or else my boy Jake will get mad at me. Uh, he is roping us out, or has just left because he is sad with his life. Maybe a little bit of both. Expressive iteration. Prismaria students dance in the tension between passion and performance. That's some uh, some fruity shit right there. I'll tell you that. That's some 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 sauce. All right, we just take the whole game. Uh, timed out. That's two two little pips for us, and we are climbing to the dizzying heights of Platinum 2. Or Platinum 1, oh! Ooh! We might be able to hit Diamond here, boys. Haven't been back there in a while. Haven't really been playing Magic in a while, because Standard just sucked. I don't know about right now. But standard is just ass, ass and a half. I couldn't use it. This is an amazing hand. Good early game. This is our best early game. We have, we're going first. We have turn two. We have turn three. We have turn, uh, Gotta pay this too. This might die, which would suck, but it's not the end of the world. But we have to shock in again and Zorn. Uh, this is one of the times where you'd want to play this creature first because you're going to get maximum value out of your Magda when she uh, creates a treasure. She should be creating two. Um, which would be gas. So this is where they either blow us out or they don't. Alright, we create two. That's sick. That is so fucking sick. Is this Grixis? Um, first we swing in. And then we do this. This cannot be killed by anything they have. This is just an immediate tempo swing in our favor. Uh, we're going to swing in first. Uh, hit him with that. And I will leave Prismari open. Because I can maybe... If they only play one creature, I could probably get him for lethal. Or no, I can... What can I do here? I think I do this. I create a treasure. I'll create two treasures. I have gold span dragon. Oh, a target's command just just wins it to with extra sauce. We're just going big. Uh. Want all that damage. Was that necessary? No, but it was fun. Um, I don't know what they're playing is an issue here. Let's let's see what information we can get. It could just be dragons themselves. Rule dragons, maybe? I think we can... Atarka kind of felt bad. It was just a win more. We're already in a good spot. 
Artifact creature, Planeswalker. This could be helpful. Along with maybe a Maelstrom Pulse, because I don't know what's going on. Deafening Clarion seemed bad. Did that not come out? Okay. They didn't play any creatures early on, so it could just be a fluke. I think we just send this, because I have no idea what they're doing. This seems keepable. A little slow, but keepable. So then also the fun fact, like the best thing about it, as soon as you get one of these lands, all your like Dragon Skull Summits and all that, they just don't come in tapped anymore because none of them tap, like are odd color. Everything is red mana based. It is a dragon stack. So we're fighting a brother in arms. That's kind of bad. That's pretty good. We will play the other Shocked Land. It's unfortunate that he is getting completely blown out. I'll take that actually, because it is a big dragon. I think I can play it next turn, too. One, two, yay. Good game. His dragon's deck couldn't keep up with our dragon's deck. I think he was too... committed too heavy to the dragon theme. Uh, without any, like, interaction. Because he was playing some bad cards there. Because I originally thought, um, that... the dragon reducer would be good for this, but I was like, no, that's it's not good. Because it it's just a 1-3, and it helps you ramp a little bit, but it dies to a lot of removal. It doesn't really block anything, and it doesn't really generate anything to the board state. It doesn't create value past it reducing mana cost, where like Magda can, is going to die to removal, just like it is. But if it stays alive, it generates more value over time. It creates value to the board, which I think is just better than a 1-3 that just can beat but it doesn't have good beats. Uh, this is a clunky hand, but we can run it. Luris, ooh, ooh, no. This, I'm, we might have a bad time against this deck. Like a really bad time. Cause I, this is probably Luris uh, enchantment. So I'm not excited here. I'm not excited in the slightest. Alright, so we play Magda. Uh, unfortunately, we will probably... Oh, no, we could, we could take one. We can take one hit. It's not the end of the world. So a scry here. Fatal push gets us, but... Once they see that we're mostly a monster deck, uh, this being the only two drop creature we have, they might sideboard it out in the future. Stone Coil, okay. Pretty good against us. I might not scry either. I might just create a 5-5. Five five. 
Yeah, I, I'm not scrying. I'm going to 5-5 five five it up and have a beater that just fucking is obnoxious. Yeah, sure. Now we start treasure mapping. So this, they cannot target it with anything. This is just a massive fucking beast on the battlefield. Um, unfortunately, it gains death touch until the end of turn, which is probably gonna have to be fine. will have to do main there we go so next turn one two three four five six I can draw a card here I deal five damage he deals four damage I deal a shit ton of damage I can deal 11 next turn, so I don't mind this getting buffed, I deal 11. We're getting into a foot race. That kind of negates things. I think I have to binding now, so we... Sure. Draw. Main. Tapped. Binding. That. Um. We go back to the foot race. It's just. You can pump once, that's a lot of damage. It's gonna gain three life. It's gonna gain four life. Swings in for beats, that hurts. If I find gold span dragon, this is gas. Wasn't good enough. I thought it was, but it's not. All right, unfortunate. Thought I did the math right. Um, I think we just need to stack up on removal. Uh, what's too slow? So we need to get out. Tiamat has to come out. Um. Nikki B comes out. Binding is slow. And a Tarkus command is useless. And 
Yeah, this is not a matchup I am looking forward to in the slightest. Ugh. Single target removal and board wipes. Hmm. Here comes the thought seizes and the doom blades. Or Heartless Axe. He might have Heartless Axe. All the instants and sorceries are coming in the... Fuck our day up. But, it's to be expected. I was on a fucking super hot streak. I recorded a video before this and I won three games. But... We will have to see. This guy's in the tank. He's putting in the thoughts. He is thonkin'. There's our dragon in the background. Cheering us on. Hmm. Play first, Mulligan. Keep, I guess. Yeah. Uh, we will probably have to get rid of Baldwing, the reason. He thonkin, he thonkin. Uh, Baldwin goes to the bottom, one, and then we do this on two, play the treasure map, scry, on three we play the egg, uh, four we play Limrith, five, well, it depends on what we get. <laughs> so we have a pretty, pretty set path here, little to no interaction. Um... I don't know actually if our opponent's here anymore. We might have had just two, um, no connections. Interesting. Yeah, he could have stepped away to do something. He did have a pretty good time bank. Him about, about similar. to black fox speed kill Nikki B oh man I don't want to win like this I wanted I wanted to go into the game I wanted to play He could be playing on a potato computer. I remember I played on a potato computer before, and that shit just sucked. Like, magic was barely runnable. Yeah, that, that sucks. That's not fun. It's not fun at all. Alright, we'll I'll try to squeeze in one more. Um, yeah, we'll do one more. Might get a little long, but it's okay. We really, I played the first game against Phoenix. I had them dominated. They didn't want to play game two, so they left. Uh, third game played against Dragons. Or second game played against Dragons. Uh, don't know what, they really didn't get their stuff. Got mana screwed, beat their ass. This time, uh, just couldn't keep up with uh, the swing of things. Their life linkers kept them in the game. Bezeleo. This is a good hand. Uh, we have a one, two. So we have turn one, or turn one. Then we play this on two into Magda, turn three, Zorn. Magda does get answered a lot. Magda 
Mardu. Another Zorn, which is cute. But they probably are running removal, like Fatal Push in the main deck. So this is not going to live. So... Do, I don't have black. Now I do. Um, next turn, if they don't kill Magda, I can play another Zorn and then just grab a dragon and just win the game on the spot. Deafening Clarion, okay. Uh, I play Nikki B, the Ravi G. Let's get a little bit more interesting here. Let's see what they discard. Just a land. Could be a counter spell here. Not we get him for twelve or eight. What the fuck. Sell the wreckage. That's fine. Take action, grab our basics. Was not expecting that one. This could just be five color control. We could Zorn into, that's pretty good. Uh, Zorn into double Prismari. Yeah, I think actually I'm just going to do this. If they settle me again. I'm fine. Yeah, five color Niv Mizzet. That's kind of sick. I like it. I like it. Another five color deck has entered the arena. Which one is better? Uh, they could pr get rid of my Prismari, which would be fine. Uh, ooh, actually it's not fine. If they need, if they got, they fucked up. They have to binding. Uh, oh, they can't binding. Um, uh, do I have any dragons in my graveyard? I do. That's fine. What should I grab is the question. Tiamat would be sick because I could play whatever I grab, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six.
I forgot it has to be cast, which is unfortunate. So maybe I should have grabbed Nikki B, the Ravi G. I forgot it's not. When it enters the battlefield, if you cast it, search your library for up to five dragon cards. So I think actually the play was grabbing your boy, or no, grabbing, waiting for server. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. That's not good. It's not good at all. Reconnect. The magic servers have been kind of trash recently. Uh oh. I think we concede this one because we fucked up, but we, I think we should be good. Um, thought sees comes in because it's control. Uh, Maelstrom Pulse, Tarkus Command's bad, Lightning Helix is bad. Was it, is it bad? Yeah, it's bad. Um, Devonian Clarion's bad. Um, I think that's fine. So we bring in the Thought Seas, we bring in, um, just control matchup stuff. Take out some board wipes and creature hate. Christ. Ugh, your itches. There we go. Bizaleo goes for game two. All right, we play first. We look. We keep. We. Turn to you, Thoughtseize. Uh, probably gonna get the orb, because everything's like too expensive. So, I think we play the tapped land. Swing in. Create a treasure, ramp us up, anyways. Orb would have been good, because then next turn we could have played Build the Reason. But at least we don't have to do anything painful. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Draw. Main. Pay two. Oh, I can't. Oops. Thought I had double black, but I didn't. Oh, it's not six. There's an extra dot seven. Now I can cast it.
so we can pump, pump. Gotcha. All right, we go to game two. Um, hmm. or game three. Fuck, that was that was such a smooth game. I was like, ah, oh, there's no way they know what we're doing. But they had the nuts on us too. So it sucks too, because fucking going turn two Magda into them untapping with three mana just means. Most of the time, just kill spell. But she is an important part of the deck, and I can't just remove her. Very key piece. Because if she does draw removal, it, it's not on any of our bigger stuff. I always debate putting four of her in here, but then I'm like, fuck. Then it's just... What do I cut otherwise? Mmm... It's a two mana hand, but we have Moggy G. So. Yeah, that's fair. Enters tapped. Oh! No, I didn't have black. I was like, fuck, I should have. Should have shocked and then thought seized, but this isn't the right one. No restock for you. I would be fine with a settle here because it's going to ramp us and <sighs> gets us another land. So that's fine. So it puts a land on our battle f on the battlefield. We will take the black land and we will create a treasure token. And then we can gold span dragon safely next turn. Or we, we should probably lifelink dragon, to be honest. Cycling, that's good. So we can start getting four life. It's scary. We're actually going to take risk it for the biscuit here. Can't play scared. It's gonna create mana. Green mana in particular. Cycles, okay. Thought sees, that sucks. Cause it, it well he could mess up. If he Actually, it's not the end of the world. The the two mana isn't the two life isn't horrible. Um, and I could honestly just bring it back with this. If I hit a land, nice. Auto pay. Take action. Swing in. Create a treasure. Boom, boom. Gain four life. Uh, he needs a board wipe. Then I can also. This little whelp is annoying. It gets rid of the haster. Leaves up white, white. So we could have another settle. Basics, I have two basics left in my library. 
So I think we keep him back, and we can buff these two up. With mana. And threaten lethal. Because 8, 10, 12. No, wait, hold on, wait. How many times can I buff this? So two here. So I'll create two mana. So it will be two times, three times. Three times. I can create it. Do it three times. Well, if I create black, black. Yeah, still only two. The three. So... 10, 11, no, no, it would be 10, 12, 14, yeah, okay, or no, it'd just be 12, what am I, what, what, how am I doing math, because it would be 6, 6, duh, fuck, I'm kind of stupid, Oh, is, just the, is this the rope that I've lost and I don't have a play here? Is this the I lost and can't make a play rope? It could be. Uh, or he could be baiting me into for that false sense of security for... Uh, to hit that six settle, which I think I will still play around the settle. Oh, I didn't do I didn't buff him up. No reason to commit to the board here. I thought he had settle. Uh and that was the I Oof, That was scary. I was hoping to hold priority on the damage step. Go to damage and then just buff, buff, buff. But... So that was my bad. I was playing around the settle because I I was nervous about it. Uh, because like that I've I've had that happen to me where opponents roped out, roped out, and then they're like, haha, settle, get fucked. Because they th like you think you go in for the kill off the tilt. I'm not here rope anymore, and they just end up coming back. Like it's just brutal. But I guess even if I were to no, if I would have swung in, I think that was a safe place still. Um, I wish. Like hindsight 2020, that was a good match. Uh, my five color dragons was better than his five color to miss it. Let's just be honest. I'm just better. Uh, do we get a pack here? God, I was up for another hour. Uh, no pack, but I will buy a pack for you boys. I bought a pack in the last time I tried to record this, and then the audio was, audio was funky. So we'll claim. We'll, we'll see what's up. Pack time. Dungeons & Dragons. Alright guys, with the power of like, comment, and subscribing, we will get a... a Mythic Dragon. Ooh, Dancing Sword. That's not not bad. This is a great limited card. I think this card is very interesting. Uh, sick card, sick card. Uh, and let's just take one more peek at the deck. Uh, very cool deck indeed. Uh, I hope you guys liked and enjoyed. Leave a comment down below seeing what decks you would like to see next, uh, or jank, because this is my... I literally climbed through Platinum playing nothing but this deck and my mill deck. So, uh, you guys saw how this deck performed. Uh, I don't know if I would craft it just yet. If you have the stuff for it, it is a very rare intensive deck. Like, all, almost all the cards in here are rares. Uh, there's no commons, I think. Rares... Uh, binding is an uncommon... It's, this is a very expensive deck, like, hyper expensive, but it is very fun and very enjoyable. 
I wouldn't craft it. I would not craft it, because I don't know what the meta is, how it's going to change and stuff like that. But it's very interesting. Uh, I'd like to say thanks for watching, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you in the stars, boys.